Hello everyone. This is Dominic with Poor Pumper Society. It is finally a nice temperature here in Texas. It's about 70 degrees, a little cloudy. Showed up to a job today. We don't know where the septic tank is at. Well, the customer does and I do. So I said it was in the backyard somewhere. I immediately came out and I could see back here. You may not be able to see it. There's a little clean out sticking up. That's a clean out for the drain field. And you can kind of see these ridges going along the side. That's the drain field. It's a conventional drain system, which means it's seeping into the soil. And if you look right here, there's a very obvious dead spot in the shape of an oval. So there's gonna be an inlet right here that's coming from the house into the inlet. And then we've got an outlet and this is where it begins to go into the drain field so they've got a snake out here i'm not sure if they're backing up but we're going to go ahead and dig up the tank and take a look and we're going to go ahead and pump it while we're here if this is your first time watching one of our videos if you're watching this on facebook make sure you like the page follow I'll be dropping a lot of videos on here. I've been doing reels, which is kind of the short format and these long form videos. If you prefer watching on YouTube and you're watching on YouTube right now, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That's www.youtube.com slash Poor Pumpers Society. Time to go fishing. So we've got the inlet side uncovered, we've got the outlet side. Now we're gonna give it a love tap with the rock bar. Loosen it up. Oh yeah, a little thick. So we're getting to the bottom now. We're gonna bring out the water hose, rinse it off, and then make our way to the outlet side of the tank over there. I think I say a clean out under that deck. We'll hold it around when you get to the 
You have like a big one that's super in there. Yeah. Got the inlet all cleaned out. not too deep maybe like two inches on this side about five on this end so if they want to get risers more power to them but it's really not that deep and you can obviously see where the tank is so we got them unclogged pumped out and they're good to go for another three to five years or sooner if they want to use thick toilet paper so we'll go ahead and put up something to uh, think about on this job that we just finished up we initially just got a call to pump out the septic tank there wasn't any issue apparently about the house backing up but what we do is every time we pump out the septic tank if the customer is home we have them flush all the toilets in the house just to make sure we can see it entering the septic tank from the house now what had happened is we pumped this one down and we had the customer flush and nothing came out into the tank so that's telling me it's backing up even if the customer says it it wasn't backing up and it flushed fine i know there's a clog in the line so we ran a ribbon snake and we we're able to pull out a couple wads of toilet paper that were plugging them up so just something to think about if you're uh showing up for a call to pump out a septic tank sometimes it's more of an issue than just pumping out the septic tank now in this case, it was a clogged line. Sometimes you might show up to a job and you find out that their drain field's failing or they have a running toilet flapper or leaking water softener. We've seen that before. So it doesn't hurt to keep stuff on the truck that you can use to go ahead and unclog the pipe while you're here, whether it be a ribbon snake, a jetter, um, a drain cleaner of some, some sort, like a rigid flex flick shaft I've seen works pretty good and it's like a little briefcase but whatever you need to get the job done it's kind of two birds one stone and the customer won't have to call a plumber you can make more money.